Hello, this is Nick Lynch here, and this is a top four concerts I've been to so far. I know I should probably wait until I at least been to like one more concert, <laughs> but eh, might as well do it while my mind's so fresh. All right, this is going to be really tough because most of these concerts I've been to, session one, have been really good. <laughs> but here we go. At number four, we have um, the Pills of Hell concert. Oh, God. Okay, nothing wrong with Peace of Hell. I, do, I did enjoy the band itself. It's just I wasn't feeling it with the audience. Like, the audience was not doing it for me. Like, they were uh, not really good. Didn't help that I was a bit drunk. <laughs> During that concert, I think I had like five margaritas, but anyway, yeah. Um, the audience wasn't doing it for me, they weren't really, yeah, they were all pretty rude. They were pretty rude, yeah, they were all rude at that concert. I know it's a concert, but. Yeah, they they wanted they were just not a good company. I did not enjoy that concert whatsoever. <laughs> the band itself, I did enjoy. I did enjoy the band, but the cons, but the audience, not so much. The audience were just jerks, and I think there was like another band playing there. But I don't remember the name. It was, I think it was like a new group or something. I, I don't remember the name. But it, it was, it was all right. It was all right. I, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it with that band. Not at all. Well, actually, I, I wasn't really feeling it with that. I like Pierce of L. I enjoyed the cons. I enjoyed the band. I just didn't feel it with the audience. The audience was pretty much shit. <laughs> the audience was shit. Yeah. But yeah. At number three, we have. Okay, this is Bird Salt's Get Hard. I have to be pick between the first concert I've ever been to or. The recent concert I've been to, and they were both at Timmy Park, so yeah, it's really tough to pick on which one's better. <laughs> they were both at Timmy Park, same place I've been to, so it's gonna have the same atmosphere. I honestly don't know from these bands. Between Evanescence and Corn, and I forgot the name of the other band. I'll break it down. And Stain, Daughtry, and Breaking Benjamin. These, I'm really conflicted on which one I should choose because, on the one hand, Evanescence, I love Evanescence, and I enjoyed them. And it's nice to see Amy Lee still singing up. And she's pretty old. She's like in her 40s. I think she's like. Voice sets, and she still got that voice. I'm surprised she didn't retire yet. She's pretty old, yeah. But I don't know who to choose from. Um, because between these two concerts, uh, they're both at the same place. And Team Park is pretty cool. I recommend if anybody wants to have a good time, go to Tenny Park. If you ever go to a concert, just go to Tenny Park. That's like the best place to have a concert at. But I don't know who to choose. Hmm. I, on God, don't 
know who to choose between these bands. <clears throat> These ones are pretty tough. Uh, I guess if I have to go by which bands I like more, and I had more fun, I guess. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna call it a tie because I do not know who to choose from. So they're both like second and third. I, I don't know. I don't know who to choose from. The, both these, I can't, I can't choose between which one's better because they're both really good and they both have a good atmosphere. I honestly don't know which one I liked more. Most because the Baking Benjamin and Stain is still fresh in my mind and the Evanescence was my first concert I've ever been to. I cannot pick which one I like more. And as you can tell, I got the Big Man 2024 at the concert. <laughs> That's where I got this one. For people who've been wondering where I got this from in my previous videos. But um I don't I honestly don't know who to choose from. Uh So I'll just call it a tie and just leave it at that. <laughs> I honestly don't know who to choose from. I think like, Evanescence. And if I had to choose, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't choose. I don't know which one I like more. They're both they're both equal in my eyes. It's I honestly don't know which one I like more. I guess if we're going by the bands the songs I've heard more from, I guess I guess I've in that sense no. Evanescence, because Evanescence is dead same corn at the end. Ugh. And that really was good. And the first concert I went to, they did have an encore. At the one I, the recent one I went to, uh, didn't have an encore. Yeah, the recent one I went to didn't have an encore. Everybody just left because they were pretty much tired. But if I had to choose... I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, just call it a tie. I, I don't know. They probably they'll probably switch back and forth between second and third. This is like in the mid this is tied for second and third. I don't know which one I like more, so yeah. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. I honestly don't know which one I like more. So I don't know. And at number one, nothing will top this. Like, I know this is a cliche, but the Baby Clock concert, nothing will top that. Nothing will top my experience that I had at the Baby Clock concert. Like, that concert was wow. <laughs> okay, the, the, um, there was actually one person playing there before um, before Def Clock got on stage or Metalopolis. Before Def Clock got, Def Clock Shots, Metalopolis got on stage. It was like a guy just holding in for them just so Def Clock and Bay Metal can get ready. And he did have a really cool voice, I ain't gonna lie. I think he was trying to get introduced and was trying to 
get noticed. So it was nice that they let him on stage. But I think the ones, but between Def Clock, uh, Def Clock, yeah, I got really, it was really heavy for Def Clock. Like, oh my god, that's, man, that stuff is heavy. <laughs> yeah, Def Clock was pretty heavy. I don't know why they went with Def Clock. I think they should have just gone with Bing Horizon just so I can hear Kingslayer. I don't know why they went with Def Clock. Heck, I don't even think Bay Metal performed with Def Clock on stage. I don't know. They could have just sang together. I don't know why they didn't do that. I was actually expecting them to sing together. I don't know why Bay Metal didn't sing with Def Clock on stage. I honestly don't know. That would have been cool because I remember back in the day, uh, Bay Metal did. I remember like watching some concerts, watching some live concerts online, and he did sing with some of pretty big artists. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. So I don't know why they didn't sing with Def Clock. Maybe because Def Clock songs are really heavy and it's hard to know the lyrics. I guess that's why, but eh. Def Clock was interesting, but the main attraction to that concert was freaking baby metal. <laughs> like, yeah, they nailed the show. Like, oh my god, that show was amazing. Sadly, no encore, but I honestly didn't care. <laughs> but next time I go to a baby metal concert, uh, I'm definitely getting an encore. <sighs> yeah. Sadly, I won't be able to go to that U.S. tour this year because hmm, they ain't stopping by Chicago. Yep. And the newest one is Madison, Wisconsin, and they're all sold out. Yep. All sold outs. Yeah, they're, they're all sold out at that concert. So, yeah. The all sold out. So I can't even go. I, uh, yeah, okay. And Bay Metal is the Baby Clock concert, and because Bay Metal was so good at that concert, I want to go to another Baby Metal concert so badly. You have no idea how badly I want to go to another Baby Metal concert. So, here comes part the second half of this video. This is a call out to Baby Metal. Baby Metal, come to Chicago, please. Just, I know you can't probably go on your stop because you'll probably be on the road for too many days, but maybe have Chicago be your last stop on the concert, please. You did it for Las Vegas. You added a tour for Las Vegas. Maybe have Chicago be your last stop on the concert, please. Please, baby metal. That would be amazing if you had Chicago be your last stop on the concert like that would be so cool to have chicago be the last stop on a baby metal concert that would be so cool so coming out to you baby metal please have chicago be your last stop on the concert please please have it be your last stop on the concert <laughs> i'm just just Please have it be your last stop on the concert. Please. I want you to come back to Chicago. Come back to Chicago. Like, you still got... You can still make one more stop. Just come on December 6th. Just come to Chicago. December 6th. Friday, December 6th. Please. Just make one more stop in the concert. One more stop. Please just go to Chicago. We want you back. We all, everybody in Chicago wants you back. Please come to Chicago. We all want you back. Me, like, we all want you back. I'm pretty sure everybody in Chicago wants you back. And they're probably sad that... I bet I'm not the only one from Chicago who's missing Bay Metal, but man, please come to Chicago. Make it be your last stop on the tour. 
I don't know, maybe have like a surprise stop. Like you announce, you announce like, I don't know, maybe from, maybe in October that you announce that you added one more stop on the tour. Like, I don't know, just stop by Chicago, please. Stop by Chicago. Please stop by Chicago. Please, Baby Metal. Baby Metal, come to Chicago. Please, I want to go to another concert. And you bet your butt, I'll be the first one there at that concert. If you do come by Chicago, I will legit. I'm gonna. If you stop by Chicago, I will bite those seconds on day one. And I bring my sister again. And I will. And I will tell her that we are waiting. It's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get there at six. I'm gonna be there at. I'm gonna wake up at five and then get there at six. I'm gonna be waiting there in line. I don't care. We are gonna be waiting there in line. I'm gonna be the first ones in line. I'm gonna be there at six o'clock in the morning. You know what? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna camp them. Okay, maybe six o'clock in the morning because that is Chicago and that's not a good idea to camp in Chicago. <laughs> But we're going to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I will go to that concert. We need to go. I want to go to that concert. We need to go to a concert. Like, Bay Metal, come to Chicago. Please come to Chicago. You can go to, like, Tenny Park. Watch your I would recommend going to Tinder Park because that's actually a good place to do a concert at. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah, the shares, which kind of sucks because you won't be able to move around. I think that's why they didn't go to Tinder Park. Most because they'll probably have to change the layout of the concert. Like the chairs. The chairs will probably have to go bye-bye. And plus, yeah. I don't know. I think that's why they choose the one in Chicago instead of Tenby Park because uh, Chicago doesn't have any chairs and you can probably move around. But please, Bay Metal, come to Chicago. Come to Chicago. You can go to Tenby Park or you can go to the one that you went to last time, Little Big Clock. I recommend Tenby Park because that is a good place to stop by. That is a good place to have a concert at. Even though Tenby Park is is a bit is kind of pricey, and maybe you can do something to for these bare metal concerts to shorten up the price for the concert, just because it's bare metal. I don't know. I mean, do something about the price at Tenby Park. Just I don't know. Tenby Park is kind of on the price side, but yeah. Um. But please, Bay Metal, come to Chicago, please. Because I would want to go to another concert for Chicago. I, I would love to go to another concert for Bay Metal because that... I really want to go to another concert for Bay Metal. I have no idea. Just stop by Chicago. Have it be your last stop on the tour. End it all. End it in Chicago because that would be amazing to have a bay metal concert and, and have a bay metal tour and in Chicago. That would be so cool. Have that be like your last stop on the tour. That would be so cool. So bay metal, calling out to you. Come to Chicago, please. Please come to Chicago. Please. Come to Chicago. But with that said, I went on like a nine minutes plead for Bay Metal to come to Chicago when it was supposed to be four concerts I've been to. But yeah, I really want them to come to Chicago. Also, people help me. Also, people, Bay Metal fans, help me out. Have Baby Metal come to Chicago. Help me out, Bay Metal fans. 
tap them. Tweet hashtag Bay Metal, come to Chicago, or just sit on Instagram. Do everything to get Bay Metal to come. Just convince them to come to Chicago, please, Bay Metal fans. That will be nice. Need you, Bay Metal. Bay Metal fans, unite. Have them come to Chicago, please. Have them come to Chicago. We need them to come to Chicago, please. All right. But with that said, this one goes on off. And remember, stay big. Um, rock fans. Uh, Bay Metal. Metal rock. Hard rock, uh, got metal, bait rock, hard rock, quiet metal, uh, new metal, country metal, so country rock, or d- just yeah, d- okay. <laughs> I'm in the video, but. Stay big, fan rock fans. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I guess stay big, baby metal fans. I guess stay big, stay big, Evanescence fans. Stay big, Bucky Benjamin fans. Stay big, Stain fans. Stay big, Piss of Elf fans. Stay big, Corn fans. Stay big, Deathcock fans. Stay big. Bay Metal fans, 